Okay, so I just got the Mighty 4K by Frozen. And just a quick unboxing here. It was packaged awesome. Uh, I got the kit, the so it came with the printer, the Luna, Cure Station, and then a free bottle of uh, resin, of their 4K resin. So everything just looks great. Now we're gonna get into our Z calibration. We're setting this thing up in the garage. So quickly put a piece of paper under there, attach the build plate, loosen all those four screws, and then we'll go back in and tighten these once it gets down to the uh, its zero point. So we're just waiting for it to get down. Okay. Now we can tighten all of our screws. Let's fast forward to this. I think everyone knows how to righty tighty lefty loosey. We're done with that. Then we wait till it goes up to the top. Still going, still going. We're gonna check our LCD, make sure it's all working good. Looks great. So it'll end the exposure. Now we can put our vat on. Now this vat's plastic. Uh, it's got some thumb screws. I wish the thumb screws were kind of captive on there in some way. Um, but I mean, it'd be hard to make it like that. And then you get to take the vat off. But uh, and then it says to shake the bottle for a minute. So I shook it for a whole minute, and then I put my gloves on. Gotta be safe with this stuff. Resin can cause some severe skin irritation, so make sure that you are have the proper PPE. And we're gonna install the USB stick that came with it. It comes with Chitu box and a little model of a rook, which is what we'll be painting or which we're, what we'll be printing first. Pouring in all of our resin. This is my first time playing with resin, uh, and it was it was a great experience with this machine. Uh, the resin doesn't smell as much as I thought it would. Uh, I could hardly smell it. Really, I could smell more of the uh, the heat coming from the LCD screen and such, but. putting our gloves back on and you know gotta stay safe taking off the top it took about two and a half hours and it was really stuck on this build plate pops off uh, I'm using 70% IPA that's the only thing I could get my hands on I have some more 90% uh, on the way after I shook it around for a few minutes put it in some clean distilled water Rinse off, rinse off the IPA. I mean, just look at that. It looks so good. All the little details you can see, it's shiny on top. Uh, there are some bubbles on the bottom, pretty hard to see. We'll get to that a little bit later. But it just looks amazing. So now we're gonna go and cure this thing in the Luna Cure Station from Frozen as well. Now the bars inside, they came a little bit tilted um, and it wouldn't let the button on top of the machine engage with the the cap that you put over it Ooh, look at that peel so I had to bend them back a little bit it wasn't a big deal it's just sheet metal so I place it right in the center and now we can turn on the machine now we've got S and M 
The M is manual, so we can set however many minutes we want. And then we can do S, which is preset, so 5, 10, and there's a 20 minutes as well. Uh, for this one, I didn't know anything about printing, so or curing these prints, so I just went for 10 minutes. And notice I click power and nothing happens. It's because you have to have the top on. And then you can, then you push the power button again, and it'll uh, it'll start, turn on the lights. There's a little red switch. So we'll put the cap on, and it's a pretty satisfying click uh, when you engage that switch. So now that we have the cap on, we can press the power button. And the lights are on the inside of those little tower sections, and then the plate starts spinning. And honestly, this works flawlessly. All my prints cured. Uh, I had to flip a couple over to make sure that the bottoms got done too, but I didn't even do it with this one, and it, it turned out great. So, we'll time lapse this real quick. And it looks great. Um, yeah, I was just so impressed with the way that these things turned out. Uh, you can see, it's still hard to see the little bubbles on the bottom there. Um, in the next, later in this video, I'll show you, you, it'll be much easier because I sand the bottom. But, yeah, I mean, shiny. Isn't that crazy? I'm so impressed with this printer. Okay, so I've had a few prints that I've done with the uh, Mighty 4K, and so far they've turned out really well. So this was my first print. It's just what was on the S uh, on the USB drive that came with it, and you can see all of the details in that. I mean, look at those letters. Looks great. And the spiral on the inside. I'm just so impressed with it. Shiny. Uh, I sanded the bottom and you can see right there, that's a little bubble that captured some of the dust from sanding. And there's a few of them around there. Um, I think it's just because I shook the bottle so much before I used it, but I wasn't sure first time with these this printer and then this next thing I printed was a little tractor my dad loves these tractors and this one printed pretty well you can see there's like a little line down here that didn't print well it did print but I ripped it off with it in my haste to get the support material to in my haste to get the support material off and then same thing with the steering linkages down here. Um, and th really the only thing that wasn't my fault that didn't print well is this bottom. A little bit of peeling of some layers right here. And uh, the bottom of the gas tank up here is a little warped downwards. So I just need a little bit more support material in there. Other than that though, I mean all of the little levers, they, let's see if I can adjust. All the little levers, they printed perfectly. Uh, even the seat pan, it's only a few layers thick. It did peel up a few layers right there but it was unsupported, so I wasn't that surprised. Um, yeah, it looks great though. Probably print another one, so my dad has a perfect one. But, yeah. So, 
I even printed the little letters there on, on the gas tank, John Deere. It looks perfect. So I'm really satisfied with that. And then finally, I printed a magnetic Thor's hammer. And this thing, I weathered it a little bit. It was my first time painting something small. But it's got a big magnet in the front, 15 millimeters by three millimeters thick. And I wrapped the handle in some scrap leather I had and it works perfectly. Holds up our postcards on the fridge excellently. So, I mean, I'm just completely enthralled with this 3D printer. And I can't imagine not having one right now. It has been so much fun to to play with and learn about this type of printing and I'm definitely going to be printing a bunch more stuff in the near future. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.